I would say my identity, who I am, is much more being a Mindanaoan rather than being a Filipino. I am a Filipino naturally by citizenship. But in terms of where I am and, and how I view myself, my identity, is really the fact that I was born in Mindanao, I grew up in Mindanao. Well, in our country, we need role models. We need positive role models. He's one of the many who are surfacing now as role models. Role model for the youth, role model for church workers. We need those. I continue to find time to be with groups, especially our mission teams. Like we are now in uh, Dabao uh, Occidental with Sarangani Manobo and Dablaan. At the same time, I have some commitments to the Manobo uh, in Bukidnon. So wherever I have the opportunity to be with the Lumad, I am very concerned and very interested in providing whatever support I and my team can provide, especially in terms of land rights. I, I really like to teach. No? Uh, and teaching young people, I think, is a way by which I can sort of hope that there can be some kind of a transfer of knowledge, which is also the reason why I do a bit of writing in these particular advocacies. Maayo ka ayo, maayo ka ay siya sa mga advocacies niya kay bisan o unsa ba workaholic ka ay siya ba? Pero sige gihapog trabaho, no? Unya naagi epekto kay daghan man ang makahinom dom sa iya ha, no? Daga so that's that's a very good tima ilhan ni ba? Like even sa iyang mga books pa ng litan. He is a writer, in fact. He is a prolific writer. He writes down, he is able to find time to write all of this down and not just one article, like he has an, a column, a regular column in Minda News, a Sojourner's View. But beyond this, he has put them into books. The bulk of our partnership was actually when we were in formation. Uh, when we were postulants, uh, we were um, having missions in, in uh, sugarcane plantations. And so that was, that was where I saw him work. Um, he seems to be a person who doesn't stop working. There's a lyrics of a song that says, Igsoon dili takapahulay samtang may gitamay. No. Ibig sabihin, kung dunay nag-antos, ang usa ka kristyano, dili siya dapat mundang up. I think one contribution that Carl has, in terms especially working with Lutz, is among us redemptors, he was the first to do that. And it was at the start, he was not appreciated for that. But part of being Carl, Carl Gaspar himself, he went on because he sees the, he was able to see the, the, the value of what he was, was doing. And it brought about an opening for us among Redemptor seminars and among Redemptor priests that indeed there's a work to be done and plenty of work to be done with the Lumads. As I said, my identity is very much located in this area and I would, I should contribute to the betterment of this region even as I would like to say that my engagement in Mindanao also contributes to nation building in the Philippines no matter how little that is. I, I'm so conscious of the fact that we cannot just do engagements at the grassroots and you know and so on and so forth we have to raise it at the level of knowledge and theories and, and that's where academic institutions can really play a very important role parihamitanan we claim to be lifelong learners and i think he is a lifelong learner wala pa mo human ang iyang pagtuon bisan pagpila pa ka phd siguro he will continue reflecting and uh, learning from his experience experiences along with other people. The graduates of Sebu University this year. There's only one thing I think I would like to pass on to you. Come back to Mindanao. Do your share. Build Mindanao. The generations before you did what they can. It's your turn now.